This is uh, a 2002 Ford Taurus, and or is it a 2001? 2002, I think. Uh, Ford Taurus, and uh, it's leaking coolant everywhere. And the first thing we're going to do is disconnect the battery. <clears throat> then we're going to drain the nasty fluids out because... You know, these were fresh fluids in here and uh, now it's pretty nasty looking fluids in there and it wasn't that long ago that I replaced it like a few thousand miles so uh, I'm going to drain out all that yucky stuff alrighty so working on the uh, <clears throat> getting to drain the tank there's three eight millimeter bolts and seven Five and a half millimeter bolts, or uh, what I used was seven thirty seconds. Um, these little fuckers are crusty and difficult to get out. My hand is sore. Um, then once you get that those out, try these fast. Oops. You gotta get all the bolts out. I guess there was eight, not seven. Anyway, so there we are. Alrighty, like uh, take two or something, because, uh, well, <clears throat> I didn't remember to get that last bolt. There are a total of three of these guys, and eight of those guys. Three of those guys, three of those guys, and then you can get the covers out of the way enough to let this thing drain out. In my case it won't be all that much probably because it's already been draining out all over the damn place. As you can see, yeah. So, now that that's draining we can work on this fun stuff up here like uh, getting this coolant tank out because I don't really need that there right now all right so step one is uh, draining draining the fluid actually it's more like step three or four if you count all the stuff like pressurizing the system a little bit disconnecting the battery but well, whatever you know this time we get to use a uh, favorite tools, channel locks. You should come off pretty easily since I just put this on here a couple months ago. Now look at that. It really drains faster now. Like there was maybe more in there than I thought. Recording the whole time, huh? All right, well. So where were we? I think the score was three, 10 mil or three eight millimeter bolts. Eight. Uh, 
5.5 or 7 sixteenths, 7 30 seconds inch screws. That were, you know, kind of a workout to get out. Eight of them. Um, and they were know, 18 years old, I guess. Okay, so we got two of the hoses. There's another hose. Right here. Where's the some bolts to undo. My guess is 10 millimeter. It's actually like a brand new tank, but I didn't flush the system, so all that rust in there made it dirty. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy back here to hold this clip into place so I don't lose it like the one that's over there. Or maybe over there, I don't know. Some right around here. And you can see it's kind of wet and messy down here. In here. Bust there because uh, the previous tank leaked leaked all over the damn place until I fixed it. It had about 18 cracks in the bottom of it. I don't know, it might have been 900. So there we are. That's gonna make it. <laughs> I want to show you. So that's gonna make it a whole lot easier to work in there. So things I got to do, um, got to take the alternator off, disconnect it here. That's why we disconnected the battery. Disconnect this cable here, disconnect that there. Uh, and I'll take out some bolts here and here, take this brace off, uh, or maybe here. You know, yeah, maybe here, here and here. Should be easy. Might need to take it off there, I don't know. Let me take the alternator out. And then uh, I guess this is the power steering pump. I'll need to take that guy out. And uh, then we can see what more is going on. And uh, by what more is going on, I mean, uh, well, I guess I gotta take the belt off before any of that. There's a tensioner right here. Right here, I gotta put a wrench on there and crank it over to take the tension off and we can pull this guy off. This guy's got about 65,000 miles on it, so I should probably change it. So, that's the plan. Alright, so I guess uh, first thing to do is start with disconnecting the alternator. Or 10, looks like. How do I know there's going to be a 10? The last bolt I used was a 10. Right?
looks like I might have just broke that tab. Oh well, it's okay. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not crying. <laughs> I'm not crying. Okay, so it took too long, but whatever. Got that out the way. Go ahead and pull that out. Sort of out the way too. Oh, that's a big one. That looks like about 18. Oh, I found it. That's the right size, all right. What does that look like about? Hmm. Set that there for now. Set that there for now. Looks like it's 13. Get up the old uh, impact. Alrighty. Have I got it on there? I think so. Am I not doing it the right way? I think maybe I'm not doing it the right way. Yeah, it's going the wrong way. So, I'm not doing this the right way. doing it the right way. Now I gotta lift this belt off. Come on baby, come on baby, come on baby, come on baby, come on baby. <sighs> Yay, and release the tension. Oh boy, oh, got the belt done. Now we can uh, take off this brace um, and take the alternator out finally, hopefully. So, there we go. Alrighty. So, man, I have to take a break after all that. <laughs> Finally found my 18 millimeter. This is no fun. It's gonna be a really interesting video, huh? Oh boy. Working that. <clears throat> Working that 18 millimeter. <sighs> yeah, buddy. All 
Alrighty. That's probably gonna start dripping and making a mess. Now we got this clamp over here. Alrighty, got that done. Now, I think I'm going to put this back in for now. Not like all the way in, but in enough to stop the dripping. Good enough. Alrighty, got a 15 millimeter on here. Start pulling stuff off. And the bolt is captive. We'll set it aside. What else do we gotta take off? Well, I wonder if I'll be able to remember where the rusty bolt goes. Ooh boy, that is a rusty bolt. did take this guy out this guy's a big old t50 jabber Torx. so i had to get a new bit mine was buggered up and uh had to get a new one and gosh darn that made all the difference although it was frozen on there pretty hard even though there's clearly no rust um, then once you get that out there's a bolt underneath it that you can pull out 15 millimeter bolt that uh, goes right in here. Um, and once you get that out, you can get this to slide. Then you realize, oh, hey, you know what? I'm not going to be able to get this to move. Unless maybe I... Yeah, you know, looks like I'm going to have to pull the stud out. Although, I suppose, instead of double netting it up here, I can just put some vice grips on it here. That seems like the way to do it. Be nice if it had a slot in there I could put a straight blade I could bring a slot in there if I wanted but I don't know I feel like getting out another tool just to do that so we'll do this That's done. My back can really be in it. I'm gonna take a screwdriver and jam this guy off. There's a hose here. Low pressure hose. A nice thin screwdriver. Try to Thank <laughs> you. 
so we're all over here. I'm going to get this guy out without making too much of a mess. We've got one little towel down here, but he's already soaked up a bunch, so let's throw it away. Transmission fluid on the AC compressor here, that's probably not good for it. Guess we can go ahead and knock all this dirt out of here too while we're here. <coughs> 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 right. uh, skinny screwdriver comes in handy again. Well, we've got a bunch of stuff, but I'm going to have to take a break for a minute. All right, back at it. Um, so, we've got a few more things. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here. Oh, we got to take this bracket off. Take these coolant hoses off. So, I should probably get to that. <laughs> Sometimes you find a, a bolt or a nut that's a little stiff and you get your impact tool out and it comes free. It's like magic. This is one of my favorite tools. It's my pop's hammer. It's difficult. Alright, now we got this one back here. <laughs> you can hear it go crack. Now it's loose at least. Hopefully it'll come off. <coughs> yes. Whew. That was some work. This guy was crusted on there for quite a while. It's not anymore. I'm tired. So I'm going to rest a minute. Because that kind of wore me out. But I think we got about this much done as we need to up here. Now I can, uh, actually I should start pulling off the pulley. What's that? Another 13? All right. All right. Well, I only got that one 13, I think. So. Three. Four. 
bore and the pulley. I'm gonna put these nuts back in here because actually I think I'll leave them out because there is not much clearance between here and that wall. So I'll leave them in the pulley for now. Alrighty. So I think we've got just about everything up here to get. So there we are. Uh, <clears throat> I went ahead and took the liner out and put the screws back in it because it makes it easier. Now uh, I got this fun mess to deal with. What? I'm gonna have some filthy dirtiness. We'll get. We'll clean this. We'll pull that crank pulley. Then we'll pull that. Uh, I think we'll probably pull that bolt out and then pull the pulley off. I'm not exactly sure, but um, after that stuff comes off, we we'll get that crank wheel off. Oh, and I gotta get the crank position sensor. Probably gotta take that off. That's hidden up there somewhere. So that's what we're up to next. Oops, I might not have got that. I just took out the pulley. pulley um, and the four 13 millimeter bolts and uh, the pulley comes right off if you pull these bolts out <coughs> now we need that 13 16 This might take a minute. I think I got it <clears throat> squared away. There we are. The eagle has landed. Okay, I hope the camera's pointed in the right place. I Got these two screws out that hold the crank position sensor on. And uh, there. There's seven millimeter. At least seven millimeter seems to fit. And in my case, they were quite crusty. A couple of down there that I should probably get, like these. About that little guy is a uh, eight millimeter. So we'll go ahead and pull that guy out. Here. All right, that's one of them. Short or long. And the other one. All righty. Yeah, it looks like I should start working on uh, up here. So we can remember there's a, a short stud here and a long stud here and then uh, another one down there. And the rest hopefully are close enough to the same size. Oh, and there's another stud one. A lot of stud ones. But this one's a small stud. And that'll make it easier to get to this one here. Come back here.
Well, I'm guessing that one's captive because I can't get it to come out. But that's okay. I'm okay with that. a lot of rusty that's a lot of rusty all right some more Three of the same size. Only one of them has a goop on it. Oh no, two of them got the goop on it. And I'm gonna pull this heat shield out of the way. Yep, right into the light. Right into the light. Mm. Yep, seems to be making a little bit of a mess there. Yeah, that last one there was the lucky one. It's made all the fun. Fidgety, but we have removed it. We're gonna look and see if it looks like that's where the leak was. You know, <clears throat> that looks like where the leak was. That's my guess. So, I have to clean all that up, and we don't want to get any debris inside the motor there. Cycle. Need to clean up that gasket, but it looks good, and uh, definitely need to clean this stuff up. The old gasket. And I guess I could start by. Okay, plug those holes up basically so that debris doesn't get in there when I knock all this shit out. And it seems to be coming right off. It's been on there for about 18 years. Just flicking it with my finger seems to get the big chunks. Let's have a look at this guy. Hmm, this looks pretty nasty. This is probably where it's been leaking. See here where it's clean, it's been nice and sealed. Notice here where it's not very clean. 
Yeah. All right, so we'll need to clean that up too. And uh, have a look at that water pump also.